Okay, I will be presenting the solution for uh, WebAssign 8.4, assignment number 11, which is instruct us to find the arc length of the graph of the function over the given interval. The function provided is y equals ln x. The interval is 1 to 7. If you'll remember, arc length is found by the integral of the square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared. In this case, the derivative of f of x, or y, is 1 over x. Square that, we have 1 over x squared. I have simplified to combine these functions with x squared plus 1 over x squared. You'll notice we have an x squared plus 1, which is the same as u squared plus a squared, which can be replaced with a trigonometric substitution. In this case would be a tan theta. a is 1, so we have x equals tan theta, dx equals secant squared theta d theta, uh, We'll reduce this down a little bit more before adding in our substitutions. We have the x squared, the square root of x squared, because remember division is square root over square root, uh, can be simplified to x. So we have the square root of x squared plus 1 over x will be substituted with um, tan theta squared plus 1, which is the equivalent of secant squared theta when reduced to the square root, we have secant squared left, x is replaced with tan, and our dx is replaced with secant squared uh, theta d theta. Um, substituting in a, trig trig a trig identity for secant squared theta, we have 1 plus tan squared theta, which will multiply out to secant tan squared theta plus over tan theta plus secant theta over tan theta. The denominator cancels out here and we're left with secant tan plus secant over tan. Um, this can be further reduced as well. It is equal to one over cosine divided by sine over cosine or 1 over cosine times cosine over sine, which is left with 1 over sine, which is cosecant. So now we are left with secant, tan, secant theta tan theta plus cosecant theta. Both of those can be integrated, are integrable. Notice here we have uh, the antiderivative of secant theta tan theta is secant theta. The antiderivative of cosecant theta is uh, the natural log of cosecant x plus cotan x, and we are finding this from 7 to 1. I've also driven, um, written out my trig triangle over here using my original function of x equals tan theta to figure out what my sides are. Replacing our trig substitutions with the um, uh, side val values of the sides of the triangle, secant, which is um, hypotenuse over opposite or over adjacent, will replace with um, x squared plus one square root of x squared plus one. Cosecant, which is opposite over uh, or hypotenuse over opposite will be replaced with square root of x squared plus 1 over x, cotangent, which is cosine or adjacent over um, opposite, will re be replaced with 1 over x. Substituting in our values, and finally, reducing where we can, and solving with the calculator, we get approximately 6.396.